Hey everyone, this is a little walk around oh, uh, over the tug that I built, uh, explaining some of the features that are on here. So this right here is the on off button. And you've got a, a circuit breaker, a 20 amp circuit breaker. This is the remote control. We have two uh, 12 volt batteries uh, connected so that there's 24 volts. Uh, we have a 350 watt uh, motor, electric motor, DC motor, and another 350 watt motor. Uh, two servos. This one right here uh, unlocks this latch. And then this servo right here moves this pin, which unlocks the, the swivel. Uh, we have a 66 tooth uh, sprocket on here, and then a custom made um, way that the, the sprocket hooks to the, the wheel. I welded the uh, little bracket on there. I'll, I'll show a picture of that later. We have a, this is the loading tray. So basically the tire rolls up here, rolls up onto here, and the front tire, the tire hits on here, and then it just uh, pushes it back, and then the pin comes down and locks it, so it can't go anywhere. Uh, it works pretty good, has tons of power, it actually has too much power, I had to turn it down a little bit. Uh, on the remote control, you can connect it to the to the radio receiver, which is right there, and then uh, you can adjust a whole bunch of parameters. So uh, I made it so that it starts and stops a lot easier. It's not so jerky. I turned the power down 50% on the motors, and then I added a little delay. So um, when you give it full power, it doesn't just jerk full power. It just kind of eases into it. And the same with letting off. So it seems to work pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good tug. Has tons of power. Uh, can move that plane and it moves the tug, no problem. Moves the cub. And it will also move uh, my 182. And it'll move anything else, really. Anything, any tire that can fit in here. Um, I did add these two little brackets for the tail wheel because it was a little bit too wide for the tail wheel. And so the, what was happening is the wheel would spin in here. Anyhow, those two brackets are removable with just a couple of screws. And then you can you know, have a full-size nose wheel on there. Um, the swivel option, I don't, I don't even know if I'll ever use it. I thought it was kind of cool, but it was, oh, it was a lot of work to, to uh, design so that it worked correctly. Um, but probably... Probably don't really need it. I, I, probably I wouldn't recommend the swivel. It's, it's more trouble than it's worth. But there you have it. So basically when you turn it on, the first thing you want to do is turn the remote on. You just hold that button down. And then, uh, then you're going to want to turn on the switch right here. And you got a green light. So this lever right here controls the the uh, latch this latch right here when it when it's locked you just move this lever and then uh, it unlocks it and then the uh, the pin down there that locks the swivel is, is that's the swivel pin and when it's unlocked it can swivel no problem and then when it's locked, it automatically locks itself. Uh, it works pretty. It works pretty good. Um, I made it a little bit too narrow, and so uh, if I was going to make another one, I would I would make the tray a little bit wider because it's it's really close to uh, hitting the the axle, um, which is. Nothing really I can do about it unless I made it about an inch wider, then it wouldn't be a problem. Or if I made this a little bit narrower, but just one of those things you gotta live in. So, this is basically how it works. Um, 
you got your controller. This is the the one that does most of everything. Up is forward, back is back, and then right and left. So it's hard to do this with one hand, but you can see I move that left, right. You can see how it how it instead of just jerking to a stop, it just kind of slows down. All that is uh, controlled with the uh, electronics. You just hook up the receiver to your phone via Bluetooth and then you can change the, the throttle curve and the power output and, and uh, pretty much anything. You can change the servo travel and uh, it's really configurable. So you can go fat, you can go slow or you can go fast. You can go, it'll go pretty fast. And I like the way it slows down gradually rather than just strictly playing to pieces. It's not, once, it's not that hard to get used to once you do it a couple times.